Good morning. Uh, an awful lot of uh, excitement here this week generated by the virtue of uh, the New Orleans Saints and their football team, third in the league on offense, seventh on defense, outstanding kicking game, return game, a team that has 13 turnovers, 10 interceptions already after only four games, a team that's played well at home and played well on the road, went into Philadelphia and... Uh, you know, I, I don't think I ever would have imagined them, anyone scoring that number of points, but they did. They did have outstanding firepower. The defensive team is playing very well. Um, so the, no doubt a, a game uh, in which uh, tremendous excitement generated from just the idea of the quality of the team. The whole, the entire game will be a challenge. Um, we do notice that. In the second quarter, they score a lot of points as well. So um, they have a team that's rushed the ball for 166 yards a game. When you look at the, if you put the numbers up side by side, it's quite amazing with the two teams and their numbers. That's Greg's game. Uh, that's the way he was in Washington. That's the success that they generated was through pressure. Um, he has a diverse package. He has uh, usually one or two things special for each opponent. Um, so it's it's just a combination of good players and, uh, and a good scheme and an aggressive scheme. Yes. No, we'll, we'll take care of that. Whatever we think is necessary, he'll take. How will you manage him this game with you knowing that you want him to practice every single day and you're going to have a full, if you're going to have to play a full game on Sunday? How will you manage him? Well, well, we'll manage him just like we manage anyone. It's, um, we're, we're calling him limited um, only because he's going to take X amount of snaps and he's going to take the ones that we think are most important for him on a daily basis. And hope, uh, supposedly or hopefully we can build up as we go along. He may take X amount of snaps today, a little bit more tomorrow, a little bit more on Friday. Are there any plans to grow the information that's going to take to every single No. I mean, he's he came out of the game uh, no worse for wear. We were able to, as I said, play him, get him in the game. He played well and get him out of the game. Um, you know, he has, he will continue to be in the training room. And, uh, but he's very, very positive about it and very optimistic. So what is the, um, of the role Scott plays in their offense? I mean, what kind of weapon is he in this part? He's the tight end. You know, they have two good tight ends, and they obviously go to the tight end. Uh, he's their leading receiver. He's the same uh, vertical player that he's always been. And, uh, you know, he's, uh, he, the, it looks to me like the quarterback and the receiver core, the tight ends, are all uh, working well together, and the, and the distribution of, uh, of passes is, uh, reflects that. Tom, given the diversity of their passing attack and the number of weapons they have, are you more concerned this week about the depth in your secondary and the injuries you've sustained over the, over the course of this year? Is that a bigger challenge this week? No, I think we've it's been team in terms of how we've gone about our business, team defense. And it will continue to be that way. So, um, more concern, no, because they're a multiple formation team too now. They're not and multiple personnel. They're not just uh, you know, they have uh, virtually uh, you know half a dozen to a dozen forms of personnel, and uh, so and they do run the ball very well as well. We practice. Yep. I don't know what people keep talking about turning around. I mean, the guy had some outstanding runs the other day. He had uh, the numbers in terms of rushes. He had the usual number of power runs that he has. Uh, I don't think there's anything for Brandon to be down on. You know, this keeps coming up. I don't know what the expectation is. I mean, he's a power runner, and that's what he does. And sometimes, you know, as we saw, I suppose you're talking about the goal line. It was good penetration, and he didn't get – 
the opportunity to get it in the, go, in the end zone. But, you know, he'll continue to work at that and uh, continue to study and continue to look at himself. And, uh, and you know, he continues to be a vital part of our, of our offensive scheme.